Good morning. Good afternoon. Hello to everybody here in Phoenix and in Rochester and in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, I'm very pleased to be here with you <clears throat> this morning, this afternoon. Before I begin, <clears throat> pardon me, I want to uh, thank Dr. Roberts for your kind invitation, Christina Otis, Brenda Kroll, who I've not met, who I understand I believe is in Rochester. Congratulations to the, <clears throat> excuse me, medical, the School of Medi Health Sciences students. Now what? What are you going to do now, the rest of your life? I want to share a little bit about the, the story that you just saw with the emphasis on patient and medical care. Uh, closing, and then time permitting, if there are, if we have the facilities and the wherewithal to answer a few questions. As I tell many of my audiences, a good way to remember my last name is a form of iambic pentameter. <clears throat> Example, if you want to shirk work, call Burke. But if you're looking for a turkey, you need to call Berkey. There's no E at the end of my name. Absolutely, positively, yes. Because without him, working through my doctors, and my nurses and the corpsmen, I wouldn't be here. There's no doubt in my mind whatsoever, none. I've seen the door, smelled the flowers, seen the light with people that were on the airplane with me, and I turn around and come back because I didn't want to die. I still had hope. And I work at it every day through my diet, through my exercise, through my thoughts. I limit my exposure to the sun, et cetera, et cetera. The reason, the reason for the hip chair, it's not because I'm hip, I am, but I had complete left hip replacement surgery at June, Mayo Hospital, and asked Kristen if she could get me a hip chair and a mat, and she did. And thank you again, Kristen. It helps take the pressure off my, my back, and my hips, and my spine. Dr. Christopher Beauchamp was a surgeon, and I just want to give him a shout out as I did to Dr. Sanderson, Dr. Beauchamp, all the pre and post-op nurses, Dr. Lang. Uh, I start naming names and you forget somebody. That's why I'm here at Mayo. To paraphrase the Mayo vision, the expectations of the patient are the only expectation to be considered. My expectation when I dug my way out, through a, out of the cr a crack in the fuselage of an airplane, May 4th, 1970, and all the while I was in the 89 days I was in the I, uh, ICU at the Burn Unit, Brook Army Medical Center, my expectation was I didn't want to die. I was afraid of death. I was too young, I had a lot. But I don't have any wrinkles. Well, I, I do, but Corey Tannenbaum, Holocaust survivor, said, there's no pit so deep that God is not deeper still. I was so far in the hole, I couldn't see daylight. But I know that he never left me. Diet and exercise, my faith, and positive thinking, and surrounding myself with people that want me to succeed, not fail. Thank you all for the invitation. Thank you for all, all of you for what you're doing because I am an example of what happens when people are committed to the patient's needs or the only needs to be concerned. Thank you for inviting me. Good morning and God bless all of you. Thank you.